Brady Ingall. I live out of Westport. Uh, I'm a shellfish advocate, and I have one particular issue that I think that the EIS should address, address in detail. And I'd like everybody to keep this in mind. When you think about the estuary, the impacts from food by rail, and what inevitably will happen if crude by rail comes to Grace Harbor. Here's the issue. The Corps of Engineers is charged by the federal government and our elected representatives and the board to Grace the Harbor Channel every year. Every year they dredge over one million cubic yards of sand and mud. So here in my mind is what's going to happen. So we get an oil spill, and there's always going to be an oil spill. It's going to be drip, 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 or it's going to be a cataclysmic type event. So then it's in the, in the estuary, and it floats on the water, or like the Canadian uh, type oil, it's going to sink. So the tide goes out. We've got this floating oil all over the bay. The tide goes out. So now the oil makes contact with the sand and the mud. The sand and the mud is heavier than the oil. So therefore, the oil is there pretty much forever until we get some wave action. Now it's got to be remembered that, I'm sorry, it's going to get in the estuary, it's going to gravitate to the channel, it's going to be dredged, and by law, the Corps of Engineers cannot recontaminate or dump this back into the water at their disposal sites, which there is only three, and there are only and there are open water disposal sites in Grace Harbor. Thank you.